Hey everybody, uh, welcome to another review, and to, uh, I should say another first time watch review, and today I will be reviewing The Lighthouse, yes, um, The Lighthouse. So this came out in 2019, which was just two years ago, and uh, it's directed by Robert Eggers, who is also the director of The Witch, a horror film, which I've never seen. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to. Maybe? I don't know yet. Um, and the stars Willem Dafoe and Robert, uh, Robert, pa ah, God. Robert Pattinson. There we go. <laughs> God, terrible. Um. Yeah, okay, um, The Lighthouse, yeah, I, uh, I should say this is a psychological horror film, horror thriller film, even a dark comedy, yeah, um, yeah, I, uh, wanted to watch this for a while now, you know, I've heard good things, and my cousin, uh, really liked it a lot, he, um, he said I should see it, and I'm like, oh, okay, all right. Uh, I just been putting it off for a while, but I remember watching a trailer for it, and I was like, wow, that looks so cool. Um, but I still just been putting it off for a while. So I decided, I decided to, I finally decided to watch it, uh, last night, and, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, this is a weird movie, um, <laughs> which, I, it wasn't a surprise, I knew it was gonna be weird. Um, but you know, that's okay. I like weird movies, so yeah, The Lighthouse. This is uh this takes pl the story takes place in the 1800s, uh, late 1800s, I think. And it's about these two guys played by both uh Robert Pattinson and uh Willem Dafoe who are uh in charge of um guarding or something, operating, I think, too. Uh, this lighthouse uh, on this island. Uh, I think they're just there for a month. Um, and yeah, and and uh, and then they both become crazy because uh, <laughs> they both like get crazy and shit because uh, you know being on that island together and they don't even really like each other that much. Uh, that just drives both of them insane. Uh, particularly Robert Pattinson. Uh, he he becomes like even crazier. Um, Willem Dafoe is very, well. I don't know. They're kind of equal, actually. I'm not sure which one's crazier, but maybe Robert Pattinson. Um, I would probably say Robert Pattinson's a little crazier if you watch the ending of this film. Uh, the um, I won't spoil, but yeah, that's pretty much the movie. Just about two guys uh, on an island together guarding this lighthouse and and um, you know working their asses off too, and um, and they just start to hate each other and go crazy. Um, that's all I'm gonna say. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool, pretty weird, and also pretty funny, I have to be honest. This movie was making me laugh, <laughs> like, quite a bit. Uh, I don't know why, but it, it was. I was laughing, uh, like, throughout the film. But yeah, this is kind of a funny movie. I don't know if... My, oh, yeah, I've heard some reviewers say that, you know, it's kind of like a a dark comedy it's supposed to be kind of funny um but yeah there's some humor in it and it's pretty funny there's even some fart jokes in the movie and they're actually kind of funny <laughs> but um uh, yeah i i i did i liked this movie i thought it was really good really cool and weird and uh funny and both performances by Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe were great. I, um, of course, I know Willem Dafoe's a good actor. I like him and some stuff. I like him in, uh, that, that David Lynch film, uh, Wild at Heart. And, um, but I didn't really know, I didn't really know how good Robert Pattinson was because all I knew him from, well, the Twilight movies, of course, and, um, he was also in, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire played Ced Cedric Diggory, um, which he was all right in that movie. He wasn't too bad. 
Uh, but that's all I knew him from. Uh, but apparently he's starting to get up there to being like a good actor. He's even going to play Batman soon. So, um, but yeah, this was definitely his best performance. He is really good in this movie. Like he really surprised me of how good he was in this film. Um, and of course, Willem Dafoe was great as always. Um, yeah, yeah, I, uh, really, I, I did. I liked this movie quite a bit. And I also really liked, um, I, I love the cinematography of this film. This is a black and white movie, but the black and white's really cool looking. Um, it reminds me a little bit like my favorite film of all time, Eraserhead. Uh, well, not just the black and white cinematography, but even like kind of like the stuff that happens, like this movie has some weird shit in it. And in some ways kind of reminds me of Eraserhead, um, which you know, if I if I love Eraser, then I should like this movie too, and I and I did, you know. Um, so, and also I should mention this uh, movie. I've it is weird, but um, I don't think it's like the weirdest movie I've ever seen because since Eraserhead is my favorite movie, and most people say that's the weirdest movie ever made, which I don't agree on that. It's weird too, yeah, sure. But I love it, you know, and a lot of people don't even want to watch a Razorhead after they see it for the first time. I can watch it any time. Um, I haven't watched it in a while, but uh, I but it's my favorite movie of all time. I could watch it any time. Um, this movie doesn't really have a, like a, as much of a rewatch uh, ability or whatever, uh, but as a racer it does at least for me but i i could probably see myself getting this movie in the future and watching it every now and again uh maybe maybe at least twice a year i don't know um but yeah um but yeah like i said black and white cinematography is great the acting is great um, the score is really awesome uh i when i first heard the score in the movie i was like whoa that's cool um, yeah, this is just a really cool and weird and funny movie. Um, and I, uh, I was kind of afraid that I wouldn't like it. I kind of thought maybe I would be bored by it. And okay, I will be honest. Uh, first of all, I should mention I have the worst attention span in the world. I easily get bored by f movies and it sucks because, you know, I love movies, but I could easily be bored by them. Um, and there were moments in this film that did kind of bore me, but mostly it was scenes with, it was like scenes with dialogue. And I should also mention the dialogue. Uh, I could, I couldn't really understand it. Uh, Cause it was like in old English and stuff. And it was, they were kind of hard to understand, especially our uh, Willem Dafoe. He was like really, kind of hard to understand. So I had to watch it with subtitles, you know? Um, but, uh, so yeah, the dialogue kind of dragged down a little bit for me, but other than that, I, that's like my only issue with the movie is I'm not into the dialogue. Not at least not all of it. Um, other than that though, I loved it. I thought it was, <laughs> or I liked it at, at least. I liked it quite a bit. Um, it was just cool and weird. And funny <laughs> like i said before um yeah i um i really enjoyed the lighthouse this is gonna be a short review because i don't really know what else to say i will say the ending is weird as fuck though um <laughs> won't spoil anything if you haven't seen but yeah the ending's weird as fuck uh and uh but yeah i i really enjoyed this film um and I'm glad I didn't hate it because um, <laughs> I was afraid that I wouldn't like it very much. I mean, not hate it, but I was afraid I was not going to like it that much. I thought I was going to be really bored by it. And there were certain moments, like I said, I was kind of bored by because, again, I don't have the best attention span in the world. But, uh, but you know, I still, I still enjoyed it for the most part. So um, I guess I'm done. I'm going to... Go ahead and give it its grade. I'm going to give The Lighthouse a B. Um, sorry if it can't be higher. You think it should be an A something. Uh, you know, I grade I grade these movies about how, uh, about how I like them. So, you know, 
this is a, I wouldn't say this is up there to be in my favorite movie in my favorite movies, but I did enjoy it. So B, uh, that's the best grade I can give it. So if you don't like, it, I, I'm sorry, but yeah, um, the lighthouse is a B. So yeah. Okay, um, well, there we go. There's my review for The Lighthouse. So, in the comments, tell me, uh, you know, have you seen The Lighthouse? Have you not? Also, um, is The Witch by uh, Robert Eggers, is that worth watching? Like, do you think, since I liked uh, The Lighthouse, do you think I I should watch The Witch? Uh, let me know in the comments. And I, if, if you do think I should, then I'll check it out, maybe. Um, uh, yeah, I'll check it out sometime and I'll review it. Um, also, uh, what's your favorite Willem Dafoe movie? Mine, like I said, is Wild at Heart and favorite, uh, Robert Pattinson movie. I was going to say Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, but now I might say this, even though I like the Harry Potter movies better than this, but at, you know, when it comes to his performance wise, I, um, I'll say this is his best film. Uh, and what's your favorite psychological horror? I'm getting a bunch of questions here. <laughs> Sorry. Um, what's your favorite psychological horror? Mine, if you count it as a psychological horror, which some people call it that. So mine will be Eraserhead because that's my favorite movie of all time. It's funny because I'm not a big horror fan, but <laughs> Eraserhead's my favorite movie. So yeah. Um, and one more question, and this is the most important question. Uh, do you like my new look? <laughs> I just now bring it up. Um, those of y'all who are watching for the first time, if this is your first video of mine, I uh, used to have a big uh, red beard, but I shaved yesterday. So, yeah. Um, kept my mustache. I kind of look like a pedophile. <laughs> Almost. But, oh well. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Do you like my new look? Oh, <laughs> So anyways, uh, please like and subscribe, and uh, my next uh, review will be a, uh, a rewatch review, uh, since this was a first time uh, watch review, and it will be Ratatouille. Um, yeah, Ratatouille, that, I'll be watching that very soon. I want to go ahead and review that and watch and review it very soon, because I did get some new movies. I got uh, Mulholland Drive, Dave Lynch. Uh, Bottle Rocket, Wes Anderson, um, Casino, Scorsese, and what was the other one? Uh, Ed Wood, Tim Burton. Yeah, I got those uh, from Amazon. I got the, I ordered them. I haven't seen any of them yet. So I'm, yeah, not even Mulholland Drive. And I'm, I love David Lynch, but um, I should be uh, reviewing all those movies pretty soon. After I review Ratatouille, one of those movies will be my next review. So uh, look out for that. But anyways, until uh, Ratatouille, I'll see you. Yeah, I'll see you my, my review of Ratatouille. Okay, peace.